The handful of Dolphins veterans at the Miami Dolphins have had a successful in 2020. They are the people who inspired and motivated the rookies of Miami. And although Miami could not make it to the playoff round, they were also excited to enter the new season. Let's take a look at some stats and what the handful class of Dolphins veterans has been showing off over the past year. Defensive end Emmanuel Ogba, the 2020 season was a coming out party for Miami's offseason acquisition coming off the edge. Ogba registered a career high in sacks 9 and quarterback hits 21 and finished with the third most quarterback pressures 66 among edge defenders in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. Ogba's jump in production coincided with an elevated snap count. Monday, Ogba discussed his two areas of focus this past offseason with a direct result on his 2020 campaign. This year was big for me because I really wanted to focus on my body and staying healthy throughout the year, Ogbos part of my game that I worked on the most I would say was my hands. I used my hands a lot. It definitely helps my game better, helps my game improve. Despite the 10 wins and the new individual benchmarks, Sunday left Miami's sack leader dissatisfied. It definitely left a sour taste in my mouth, Ogbos said. Linebacker Jerome Baker, it was a career year for Baker in the pass rush department as well. His seven sacks more than doubled his previous career best. Never one to talk about himself, Baker deflected the praise to the guys up front for his sack explosion. I think I just got more opportunities, Baker said. This year, I had more opportunities to blitz, more opportunities to pass rush and it's more a credit to the D-line. They take up most of the O-line and a few of my sacks, I'm usually free, so it's a credit to them. Baker echoed Ogba's final thoughts about the result Sunday, and heading into 2021 with a concentrated focus. That's nothing of how we are, ba That's nothing of how we are, Baker said. We have a lot of guys that are tough, a lot of guys that are smart and we play for each other. Yesterday, the outcome wasn't what we expected, and that just wasn't our football. That's Linebacker Andrew Van Ginkle, Van Ginkle 5.5, and Baker 7.0 made up two-thirds Kyle Van Noy, six of the first-ever linebacker trio in Dolphins history to end the season with at least five sacks apiece, a credit to the team excelling on points of emphasis. Really the focal point of sack and turnovers, just being able to get after the quarterback and get them on the ground, it's a huge deal. It means a lot, Van Ginkle said. Center Ted Karras, Karras signed a one-year deal last offseason to play in Miami. Named a captain, Karras started all 16 games and was the only player on offense or defense to play every snap 1067. It was one of my biggest accomplishments in my career, in my life, Karras said. I'm very grateful to make it through and look forward to continue to play some good football. But it was really special and I'm glad that I got to make it out injury-free. Checking the box on snap counts played off his personal goals list, Kara's reflected a created by this year's team and how grateful he is for the opportunity. It was the most fun I've had playing football in my life, Kara's said. There's such great guys here and I'd love to be a part of it. Kicker Jason Sanders, asked what he will remember most about the 2020 team, Sanders' answer was in the same ballpark as Kara's. This team is fun to be around, Sanders said. Just the guys we have on this team, the energy they brought every week, the coaching staff. I really enjoyed this season as a whole and I'm ready and excited to see what the future has for us. Sanders tied a franchise record with 144 points scored in 2020. He credits his approach for matching the 1999 season of kicker Alindo Mayer. I think I did a good job taking it one week at a time this year and I think that's what helped me perform well week after week, he said. Safety Eric Rowe, that's definitely not us as a team. Rowe made his thoughts about Sunday's loss known clearly and concisely. Known clearly and concisely. He also discussed the jump from year one to year two here in Miami. Looking from last year, from the 2019 season to this season was a huge jump, he said. Now we're obviously playing to take that momentum from this year to next and make that next step where we can compete with playoff contending teams. Rowe played all 16 games for the second consecutive season, his first full season at his new position. I feel like I made a lot of improvements in the run game, something I had trouble with last year coming from corner, Rowe said. For me to make that next jump is to make the few plays I left out there on the field against all pro type of players. I've got to be able to cover those type of guys if I want to be considered one of the best covering safeties. 
Opposing quarterbacks posted a passer rating of just 76.9 when targeting Rowe, fourth best among safeties with at least 40 pass targets, per pro football focus. Last things, I spend five hours to give my opinion in the you can do it in just five seconds. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. I always appreciate your opinion, even when you say I'm bad. Talk it 10 times and in 100 different videos. We all deserve our own voice.